Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Adam from GenerationFly.org. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to tie a little midgy merger pattern. Um, I've had a lot of luck on this pattern, especially in Colorado and on tricky tailwaters. Uh, trout seem to love this little fly. Um, this is a size 20 right here. Let's give you a little size comparison. This is Franklin D. Roosevelt on the dime. You can see it's a fairly small fly. Um, as of materials for this, we're going to be using some scissors, ones that you can cut real close with. Um, we got some calf hair, some head cement, a bobbin. I got some uh, black thread on there with 6 aught size um, uni thread. And then for our hooks, we got some size 20 shrimp and caddis booba uh, curved shank hook. You can also use a straight hook. Uh, they actually work different on specific time of days and uh, different times of the month, but you can switch them up between these. Today we're tying with the shanked hook. The reason I think this fly is so effective is because it's so simple. A lot of the flies you see these days, uh, they're covered with deeds and uh, shiny silver ribbing and fancy wings. And I mean, if you actually look at a midge, they don't look anything like that. And I like to tie things that actually look like the real bug. Sometimes I think fly fishermen are more attracted to the fly than the actual fish are. So that's why I love this pattern so much.